This is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belt promotion. Laura is getting promoted. This is so exciting. I grabbed my camera just to show you guys this. So for me, maybe as big as it is for Laura, she's our first female I've ever promoted to blue belt in five and a half years of teaching Jiu Jitsu. I remember my blue belt was given to me three years ago by J Jack at the Academy of Maine. I was rolling and then I felt my ass being whipped and it was being whipped by a blue belt that was then given to me. So share how you got your blue belt in the comments if you have one. Thank you. Laura enjoys talking smack to me in order to provoke me to roll harder with her. Be careful what you wish for. Now that she is a blue belt, let's welcome her in and give her what she wants. Welcome, Laura. I love you. Such a fucking hoe. I love it. You're such a... I'm a six fuck, I like the quick fuck. I'm a six fuck, I like the quick fuck. I'm a six fuck, I like the quick fuck. I'm a six fuck, I like the quick fuck. I'm a six fuck, I like the quick fuck. I like my dick suck. I buy you a sick truck. I buy you some new tips. I get you that damn tough. How you start a family to kind of slip up? I'm a sick fuck, I'm inappropriate. I like hearing stories. I like that whole shit. I wanna hear more shit. I like the whole shit. Send me some more shit. You try for hope, bitch. You're such a fucking hoe. If you also enjoy trifling ho jujitsu, go ahead and tap that subscribe button so, uh, you know, I can show you some more. This BJJ technique is an outside trip. Here's a tip so you can get more outside trips. Next time you are rolling, say you have them in a front headlock. When you look down, if you can see their legs, then you can wrap your leg around theirs and that is your opening to complete an outside trip. I'ma explain why you probably never see me I push a Lamborghini, chooch, I'm magic like Houdini My body shaped like genie, booty dreamy, waist is teeny Yes, I told him to get titled, so he free me when he see me I go hard in the mud We begin by faking punches to the face because there are certain positions in jiu-jitsu that you would not stay in if you were getting punched in the face and being on the bottom is one of them. Now she goes in to attack my leg. She has been taking two leg lock classes per week and she thinks that she's slick, but all you have to do is put your foot to the floor and they cannot attack your foot because it's on the floor. They can't bend your foot in a way that will attack their ankle. And at the same time, if somebody's attacking your leg and you can see their back, then you can take their back. And I use this opportunity to choke Laura out because she's a blue belt now and she needs it. But for the love of God, if you are doing the body lock triangle, make sure you hide your top leg like I am not doing, or else you are going to get your leg attacked. Um, do as I say, not as I do. So she gets my head down into a front headlock and at this point a guillotine defense is to complete the double leg. The second defense to a guillotine is arm over and leg trip, both of which I'm thinking, both of which I'm trying. However, at the same time, she is not giving up. When I tap, I I um, I was definitely feeling lightheaded. Uh, I, I was very close to going out. She keeps the guillotine on this entire time fighting for it. goes for an inside trip. However, I 
<laughs> am used to being uh, people trying to trip me. So I stepped back in order to defend the trip. Had she tried this on somebody who doesn't train, she would have gotten that takedown. So from here, of course, like um, any uh, seasoned blue belt on top of a new blue belt you, who tried to take you down, you must make them pay dearly. And here is a arm and triangle choke, but in all seriousness, if any time that you try something and you fail, let's say you get choked, that's not really a failure. That is one more rep of experience from trying. Do not view failure. This is not failure for her takedown. Trying is so important. Getting those reps is so important. So now she wants to dance and right now she's trying to do an arm drag and I'm defending an arm drag and we are doing a little do -si do and at the same time I'm thinking, oh fuck, what was that thing that I was practicing and this was the thing right here. This is the takedown that I was practicing previously that I was trying to recall and that I got live. Um, and yeah, so now I am in the, on the top, obviously, I step over to mount. And then from mount, we get a, a nice little little arm bar here. From side control, you can step over to get the mount. Then from the traditional mount, you can go to an S mount. And then from the S mount, trap one of their arms and snap your leg over. And there you are with an S mount arm bar. I told them to get titled, so we bring me when he see me. I go hard in the The key in jujitsu, especially at wipeout, is to set an intention for your role and make the intention realistic so that you are not disappointed when you begin rolling. For example, if you are a year one white belt going up against a blue belt, um, tapping them five times is, is not realistic and you are just going to be uh, depressed when that doesn't happen. If, if you are a white belt and let's say it's your first month, one goal, uh, if you just did one round and you did not panic, breathe, that that's a win thank you so much for watching you can do it i believe in you get out there and train and until next time